to boys and girls to our new chapter and let's see chapter 9 let's go and have a quick glance over our book clearing an open area of land in which there are no trees mock to laugh at or make fun of no to me to move your head up and down as a way of showing approval be assured to make someone feel less afraid or upset companion a friend a person or an animal that keeps company with another gasp to breathe in suddenly and loudly because of surprise shock or pain Banquet, formal meal to celebrate a special event. Deserted, not inhibited by people. Vanish, disappear. Devil, an evil, wicked spirit. Unfit, not suitable. As Alonso and his party continued their search for Ferdinand, Prospero prepared the surprise for them. Let's go and see what was the surprise. In the open area now, it's sunny and it's, uh, um, uh, the weather is fine. And this was another uh, thing, uh, weird thing on the island about the weather. We can find and see here Alonso and Gonzalo. And on the other side, we can see Antonio and Sebastian. Alonso, Gonzalo, Sebastian, and Antonio got tired from searching for Ferdinand and they had to rest. Sebastian and Antonio secretly plotted to take advantage of Alonso and Gonzalo being tired. They decided to kill both in the evening. Again, they were still determined to do their plot, to go with their, with their plot, killing King Alonso. Do not weaken or give up our plan. What did Antonio ask Sebastian to do? He told him he was glad that Alonso had lost hope to find his son and that this was their chance to fulfill their plan. He asked him not to give up. What happened and who appeared suddenly? Earl? Accompanied by? Spirits. Remember the surprise that Prospero had prepared for uh, uh, Alonso. Let's see what was it. What was Prosper's surprise? Suddenly, Earl appeared, accompanied by strange spirits and a banquet and music, which helped them to relax. Earl spoke to the king and his men, asking them to eat, drink, and relax. Did they agree? Let's see how come Prospero appeared on this scene. Where was Prospero? He was present all the time, invisibly watching things and the improvement and progress of his plan. Nobody would believe that these strange creatures were so kind to us. Gonzalez was referred to the three men, Alonso, Sebastian, and Antonio, who were unkind to Prospero and his daughter and wanted to hurt them. Which means that normally people will be, would be kind to each other and the spirits will harm the humans. But on the contrary, in this scene, we can see that people try, were trying to hurt each other referring to Sebastian, Alonso, and Antonio. And whereas, on the other hand, the spirits were trying to be kind and uh, 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 treat them uh, in a sweet way. 
Did Alonso want to share the banquet? No, he didn't. Nobody would believe that these strange creatures were so kind to us indeed, kinder than many humans I can think of. Who said these words? Gonzalo said these words. What was he referring to in kinder than many humans? Gonzalo was referring to the three men, Alonso, Antonio, and Sebastian, who were unkind to Prospero and wanted to hurt him and his daughter Miranda. <clears throat> what did these strange creatures do to them? These strange creatures were kind to them by serving them food and drink. They set the table for the group and flew gently all around the king and his group, which made them feel safe and comfortable. What was Gonzalo's answer? Sir, the creatures may take it as an insult. If he didn't share the banquet, that means that he's saying, no, I don't want you, I don't want to, your help. This means that he is offending the spirits. He is insulting, insulting them. So they might be angry with them. He told Alonso that these spirits might be angry and they might help, not help them to get off the island. Was Gonzalo's words true? How? Yes, it was true. The second time Earl appeared, she was totally different. In what way? In what way was she different? Do you think she is going to appear in another shape? I think you saw all shapes. Do you think you saw all shapes? No. Sir, the creatures may take it as an insult if we refuse this banquet. Why did Gonzalo say these words? Gonzalo said these words because he didn't want these creatures to be angry with them. Then they may be unwillingly to help them to get off this island. How had Earl changed it the second time she appeared to the men? When Earl appeared second time to the men, she changed her angel's appearance. She had black wings and long sharp claws and teeth. She spoke in a threatening voice. Would you like to see this creature? Let's go and see it out. Now the weather has changed. There is thunder and lightning. And what was happening? Yes. Errol appeared in the second time with black eyes and totally different. She is like a vampire. Suddenly, Errol changed it into a terrifying creature and spoke into a threatening voice. Let's see what did she tell them. Now she has black eyes and everything, clothes and everything. You three criminals! Errol is changing his for her voice. She is talking in a threatening voice now. You three criminals. She accused Alonso, Sebastian, and Antonio being criminals. It was God who brought them on this island cause. They don't deserve to live among good people. Why? Because they plotted to get, to get rid of Prospero. Did she only tell them this? No. They have turned against you because of your ugly crime. And which crime was she talking about? Yes, she accused them of forcing Prospero and his daughter out of the storming sea to the storming sea. She told Alonso that his punishment was to live a slow, sad life on the island. This was his punishment for plotting to get rid of Prospero and Miranda. They were all frightened and ran away. Alonso felt shamed and guilty. Remember when we said at the very beginning, the in the introduction, that um, Alonso um, um, takes full responsibility of his crimes and of his actions, and he feels guilty about them. 
Why did Gonzalo go after the three men? Of course, after seeing such scenes, such person, such creature, they went in separate ways. He thought they must be desperate men and they, the guilt will drive them mad. All three of them are desperate and guilt will drive them mad. What do you think Prospero will do now? Will he go on with his revenge plan or he has other new plans for this group? Next time, inshallah, we are going to see. Hope you have enjoyed this chapter. See you next time, inshallah.